Peter McGraw, congratulations, victorious tonight in your home city of Liverpool. How do you assess the fight and your own performance this evening as well? Yeah, it was a good, uh, good fight for me, you know what I mean? It was a good 10 rounds, took it on short notice. Against the day, good, all right kid, you know what I mean? I think he was the Argentinian featherweight champ or something, so I knew he was a tough kid and that, but happy with my performance. I just listened to me coach in the corner, me coach Paul Stevenson, and followed the tactics and got the win. And Good 10 rounds under my belt, which I'm, I'm, happy, I'm happy about. I've never ever went 10 rounds in my career. The first time I went with six on my debut, so that's a um, brilliant experience that I've, do you know what I mean, for obviously eventually when I'm fighting for titles and that. So, yeah, another fight in Liverpool, another win and another step closer to where we're going. Like you say, Nicholas Patelli, tough, looked physically strong in yeah, there yeah. as well. A few rascal tattoos as well, which yeah. uh, <laughs> we won't mention what they said on there. But ultimately, what was the, the difference in there tonight, Pete, between the pair of you, do you think? Uh, it was probably just, I had to, uh, I was just sensible in there, do you know what I mean? I probably could have uh, went through the gears a little bit more, but that could have been a bit dangerous, got me caught, do you know what I mean? He was he was unpredictable sort of thing. Sometimes he'd be on the front foot, sometimes on the back foot. Sometimes wait for me, he'd land the big one, so... As I say, I was just sensible and showed a bit of experience in there tonight. I just had to box clever and just and, ju and just be myself and not rush things. And, and that's what I've done. And I think was it 100 to 90 that they won every round on the scorecard. You know what I mean? So um, kept the record intact. Still haven't lost the lost the round as a professional. And um, brilliant experience for me. And just looking forward to cracking on now and hopefully get another date ASAP. Your first fight officially under the Matron banner. How does it feel? To have that foundation behind you now, and, and I guess a bit of a whirlwind a couple of weeks for you, really. Yeah, it's been mad. I've obviously f f been um, obviously in talks with Matchroom for s since until the past two weeks, you know what I mean? We, we got signed, we got put on this bill, still didn't have an opponent for like another week. Nicholas Patelli comes in about a week and a half bef before the fight. So yeah, it was all, all, all a bit of a, as you say, a whirlwind, but we're here now, we've just got the win. And... Um, we're under the matching banner and all I'm doing is look, looking forward and looking up. You had a little chance this week to walk around with Tony Bellew, a, a fellow scouser and a fellow blue as well. He offered some of his advice to you. Obviously, he, he had that dream fight at Goodison Park. For you, Peter McGraw, when you think about the future, what do you think you'll go on to achieve in this city? What's the dream? Yeah, look, I've been, um, obviously, I know we always go back to the amateurs, but I was leading the way in the amateur games, you know what I mean, for putting the city on the map and... The city's already on the map in the, in the, in the pro game with, with obviously Bellew, the Schmitz, uh, load, loads of others, past world champions. And I'm just looking for, to follow in their footsteps and keep smashing it, keep doing what I'm doing, keep inspiring the kids. And I believe I'm going to go to the top of the sport. Um, even more so now with a team like Matt Zumbi Army on a big platform, Eddie promoting and that. So, yeah, all, all, as I said, I said it in the press conference, so I can see a success. And, um, yeah, 7 and 0 now and ready to go 8 and 0 as soon as possible. But if I can just mention that, brilliant day for um, for the family, me with a win, but Everton got a win as well, so it was the double for the Blues and up the fucking toffees I made up for us. <laughs> <laughs> when, you, uh, when you think about the platform that you just mentioned there, it is a global platform, big shows in the States, you box around the world as an amateur, but is that on the agenda uh, for you as well, Pete, to, to spread your wings as a professional as well? Yeah, definitely. I've, I've boxed all over the world as, as, as an amateur and it's brilliant getting away. And uh, As an amateur, all the family used to come around with me anyway and uh, I boxed since a pro. I boxed in Dubai and Japan. The family got over there with me and like when I see when I see like my mad and that over the over over in like Dubai over in Japan coming over and watching me, I'm just thinking like it's fucking it's boss, you know what I mean? Like boss memories for us. They probably probably would never have went to Japan if I never boxed in Japan. But obviously it's professional boxing that's got me there. It's amateur boxing that's got me where where, where I am today. And be be be. I really I think I'm probably get out in the states at some point under the match room on a belt of show and it's obviously they they'll be over there supporting me and continuing to make memories. And as I say, it's just more steps to where we're going. Eddie Hearn and Frank Smith, no doubt, would have laid out a bit of a plan with you alongside your management team as well. But I get the opinion with you, Pete, that you're also going to be assertive. You'll be on the front foot telling them how quickly and what direction you want to work in. Yeah, look, it's um, obviously we all, we, we, any boxer wants to become a world champion and I know that's, that's where we're getting to. But I trust my team, my coaches, Paul Stevenson, Anthony Humphries, uh, my management and obviously my promotional team. I trust them to make the right steps for me. Uh, the way I see it, a fighter, all they've got to do is... Make sure they're hundred percent getting in the ring, put the work in, in the gym, live the life out of the gym and, and leave all the rest of your team and they'll pick the right steps for me. They get me the right fight at the right time and, and uh, we'll be at the top soon. Great stuff, Pete. Final message to your supporters tonight. Thank you very much to everyone in there. Um 
went the most exciting fight I've had more exciting fights, but look, that was a good experience for me. That that's gonna stand me in good stead. I'm o- I'm I'm over the moon with the performance, over the moon with another big show in Liverpool, and uh, there'll be many more to come over the next few years, yeah. And I'll be headlining here soon, so keep the support coming. I appreciate it so much. No doubt, ten rounds in the bank, only just getting started. Peter McGraw, congratulations to you, brother. Well Thank you very much, sir.